Well, the national debate over police reform is coming to Jacksonville today as activists are planning a rally at City Hall. The activists demanding a new city budget, cutting the amount given to JSO in half. Again, that's according to these activists who are coming. That is where Renata DiRorio joining us live with what these individuals want that money to go towards instead. Hello, Renata. Hey, good morning, Lou. Yeah, they want the money instead to go from JSO half a billion dollars. So half of that to go toward programs like food security and employment. So they're going to be out here at 4 p.m. before the city council meeting. But we know that some of the people who will be heading into the city council meeting do not agree with this and they want the budget as is. This scene from last year to be revived again Tuesday. The mayor's budget proposal would give Jacksonville Sheriff's Office half a billion dollars. I don't think JSO could handle 40% of the city's problems. So why are they getting 40% of the city's budget? The people's budget put forth by Jacksonville Community Action Committee would take money from JSO and put more toward public works, neighborhoods, parks and rec and the libraries. Maria Garcia is an activist. When you have a good education, um, when you know that you could get a good job, you're going to be much less likely to turn towards antisocial behaviors. About 80% of their budget is people. Jacksonville Finance Committee Chair Ron Salem. The mayor's budget proposal includes a 9.5% increase for salaries. The budget includes money to create a third cure violence location and dollars for the Kids Hope Alliance. And I'm all for a program like we have just implemented a program called uh, our Mental Health Offender Program, where we are diverting um, misdemeanor um, uh, arrests that have a mental health problem keeping them out of the jail. Both the people you just heard from brought up the crime rate here in Jacksonville. We're going to talk about that coming up in the next half hour. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live outside City Hall. First Coast News on your side.